I, I don't look, I agree that a guy could be a provider and not be a traditional guy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it's the expectation on the woman's part that, oh, well, if he doesn't pay for the first date, there's not going to be a second one. It's a man's job to pay for the first date. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a woman's job to not to herself online. Okay, well, maybe if we I go agree. on a couple dates and, you know, and we eventually get in a relationship and you don't like that, then I'll stop. But I'm not just that's still not provide. a traditional man. But yeah, I just don't, I don't get the whole, like, I'm a modern woman. I'm, I'm free, like, sexually free. I can do hands. But I also want to hold men to this very narrow standard of what their gender roles are. It's not even a narrow standard of what their gender roles are. They already have so many men who are throwing money at them for literally doing nothing if they can't have if they have a partner who comes into their life and is like oh i'm not paying for dinner or i'm not doing that she's gonna be like well i can just get my discord boyfriend to do it then i can just get this only fans honestly dude to tip me some money yeah that's what that's what the problem is they are so used to it that they can't you can't expect them to date somebody who wouldn't do what a million strangers are already yeah. doing for them. You're right. I think that's it's the difference. Yeah. Short-term solutions, but long-term problems. Yeah, I would also yeah. agree with that, but that's a whole I mean, different yeah. exactly. no, conversation. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they're not getting traditional men. Like that's stop it there. Like, well, I'm not looking for men in general. <laughs> no, I'm just. I. I, I honestly, I might but be you a wanna, feminist. But you can't wait to be pregnant wait, and start a family a and do all this. Okay, not feminist, but like I don't really want to depend on a man to like provide for me. Hold but on, no, 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 no. You just said if hold he on. wanted me to you stop doing do, OnlyFans, then he should provide for me. Because why does he have to say if he's not providing for me? Wait, like but I can do what I want to do. You said you're not looking for a guy to. You, you don't want to. I don't want to depend on a man. But it's expecting like, a man to pay for the first expecting a man to pay for the first date is literally you depending on the man. Okay, to but provide. you're saying that I can't do OnlyFans if he wants to pay for the first date, then okay, then provide for me I, no, if you don't you, want me to do you OnlyFans. Can, you can, that's my job. But the expectation is a little uh, let's say unfair. Well, that's life. <laughs> I have something to say. Yeah. A Go lot ahead. of some guys that do pay for meals because they paid they also expect sex five, because they five. paid for a meal i'm not gonna lie some occasions i've paid for my own food just so just to like sure. not deal with yeah. stuff so as much as women expecting that some men expect oh i paid for her meal now i want like you gotta have sex with me like just some weird shit okay well i i think that I expectation's that weird but i certainly agree with you that there's definitely men who will be who think that way uh, not think, all, not uh, all. Yeah, not all, but I think Definitely I think a that's a bad that, way to though. look. It's just like it's it's weird it's to me because it's like here's this gendered expectation on men, which in my view is sort of a traditional gender role to be a provider, to pay for first dates. It's like how are you gonna have that expectation on men, but not like be the most modern type of woman possible? Because they're not because they are modern and they already have people who are willing to do it so why wouldn't they it's just like to me it's like well if you acknowledge that you're a modern woman just be like yeah i guess we could split the bill no but they're still they're going after modern men that just happen to be providers right but there are modern men who are also down to go 50 50 they are what's but they wrong are. with dating them we that's not what they be. want <laughs> That's not what they want. Or right, because feminism is a buffet. You get to pick and I, choose that no, which it's benefits if you. You're like broke and like whatever, but like. Right, but you wouldn't date a broke guy. I I have dated a lot of broke guys. Okay, whatever. Um, but well, I think that I've learned school, from they that. They were all broke. You just go down. Yeah, high I school. guess that's true. Yeah. That's also a very big issue with this conversation right now. But I know. But my, like, but my point is world. that like, if he wants me to not do OnlyFans and wants to be traditional, then provide for me so I won't do OnlyFans. I think the issue is here, men. Men, I'm talking to you. If you don't want your girl yeah. to do OnlyFans, don't date a girl who's on OnlyFans because it will always remain an issue. Agreed. Once Any man who's going to be willing yeah. to date someone who does OnlyFans is, like, in the long run, not going to be a good man. Well, the, yeah, I mean, the reality I don't is, look for anything is a man that's more willing to want to date an, a woman that does OnlyFans is less likely to want to be... He's going to be more likely to want to be, like, a 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Provider. Like he he's might not he's not going to want to later in the future. Yeah. That then that's a generalization. That's that's, you know. You're probably going to find more luck in dating if you were to date 
a more modern man or someone who is like, hey, let's go 50-50 because that's the type of man that's going to be willing to put up with the old man's account. You're, it's, it's like finding a unicorn to find some man who wants to be your provider but is also like a leader as well. That's like that's an extreme contradiction. So good luck finding the unicorn. It's probably not going to happen. I mean, and also the thing is a lot of men that do date you if you have an OnlyFans might be looking at you to be able to cash out themselves. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're the guys yeah. who are more likely going to be like, hey, if I pay for X many dates or one date, she's going to put out because she puts well, out no, for all not, these other not guys. Not just that, but the courses that people like like take mm -hmm. sales and stuff you know yeah. like it's literally yeah. on like pimping women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you also mm -hmm. have to take into account that the kind of men that you're date that you're dating around our age range are probably not making as much money as you are so it's a lot harder for them to definitely not yeah. be a provider mm -hmm. yeah. look if also like if i can kind of make it slightly political like if you're a woman and you consider yourself to have progressive political values you're liberal you're democrat it's crazy for you to want for a man to pay for the first date. I think that's crazy. Yeah. Like if you have progressive social values, you're not really progressive. Yeah. If in like society you want things to be progressive, but you want to go back to patriarchy in your relationship, that's crazy to me. Mm. You gotta be you got that you gotta be across the board with that shit. Oh, and then Hold on, wait, actually, hold on. So just going around the table on this, who do you think, who do you think should pay for I the first? We did this. We'll just reiterate it. Oh. I don't think everybody answered. Man, men. Most of the time, men. Men. The man. Men. Men. Men, men have they asked? Madison. Men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say man. Uh, man. Wait, and I'll, we'll go around the table again, but I'll just start with, oh shit. Killer of cereal donated $200. Is end goal for seeking dates to ultimately procreate in a traditional sense? Start a family, love, have children? Seeking a sugar daddy isn't traditional because it's a transactional relationship. Definitely, but I don't know if that was to me. The only reason why I brought up sugar daddy is because the men they're going to find that are willing to provide for them in that sense are going to be closer to a sugar daddy than an actual partner. I Perhaps. feel like there's like tons of guys that like will still pay for the first date and like will want to get to know us. Um, I don't know that knows. I'm glad that's working fans. for you then. I'm glad it's working like, out for you. Doesn't have then. a problem with it. I don't really even go on dates. Yeah, or, like, like I don't, I don't have interest in even going on dates or like finding a relationship <laughs> with a man because I've already been like before I even did OnlyFans. Like it's never worked out. Like men are just pieces of shit most of the time. So I think that might be but a reason that are erroneous. Erroneous. erroneous attracted towards you might be pieces of shit because of the things that you are yeah. I just said of. before Thank you, I did only cereal, well, before you're only you're you were in high, high school, school so a lot yeah. of guys yeah. are pieces of shit in all high of like yeah so you're, you're telling telling me that like disagree that's a that's a that's sexist that's like the douchiest time besides college that is or high school a that's like statement. the four years for a guy to be a douche and it'd be okay what about women at that age a lot of them are bitches Same too thing. yeah, yeah. Right. I was a bitch Actually, in high school yeah, you're telling me that immature men are willing to say whatever they want to get you to sleep with them like so they're yeah, willing to pay, oh, they're willing to was, say was, anything. They're like, so okay, I was I was in the middle of a thing before the TTS came in. So okay, um, so those of you you said you answered who should pay. Um, just starting with, we'll start with you and then you. Uh, you guys want to get married? Yeah. Yeah. Does everybody Maybe. just who wants to get married one day? Well, I mean, I yeah. do. Show of like hands. I, no, I, no, I, no. I okay. Um, so wait, starting with you, then you, then we'll go around. Um, Will you take your husband's last name? Um, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Of course. I'm going to add it. You're going to hyphenate? Well, I'm not going to hyphenate. I'm going to oh. make my last name my middle name, and then his last name okay. my last name. I'd probably consider doing something like that, yeah. too. Um, the only reason is because it's half of my identity is my last name. Like, you can't even tell what race I am without my last name. So what? I feel like that's a very big part of me, and I don't want to lose it. Honestly, if he had a cool last name though, and it flowed with my first name, like I, I would, I would not, not yeah. hyphenate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's also part of my boyfriend has like the, one of the most common last names in America. So going from my unique ass last name that yeah. like tells you my race or my um, nationality or nationality, ethnicity as soon as you hear it versus yeah. his, I 
yeah no I can't, I'm in the same boat <laughs> yeah yeah you but I also uh, don't plan on getting married okay um I don't know if I want to get married but I'd probably like add it on add it so hyphenate actually you know what I'd probably just take his last name because if oh, I'm gonna get married okay. I'm gonna assume it's gonna last Madison, what about you? I would take his last name for sure. All right, hold on. Let me read this really quick.